Okay, show me. For your followers. For this chicken. Come on. Hey, 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 Mike, yeah. do you know the plan for today yet? No, 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 no. No one knows. No one knows. Yeah, no one knows. Eh? After two kilometers, kilometers. that's the time we're going to begin the program. Okay. Yeah. Morning, morning. The guys still don't know what the session for today is. Oh. Surprise. <laughs> do you guys get up to train sort of this time every day, hey? Normally, in the end, we start around 6.20 when we do for the jogging, I mean the easy days. But uh, for session, we always get up a bit uh, earlier. Okay. So we can really start the session around 6.30, 6.40. Okay. And how many sessions do you have a week compared to how many jogging days, easy days in E10? Uh, normally, um, Say at least two sessions, and uh, sometimes three, but normally it's two and one long run. Do you have a preference between this road and the Moiven road? <laughs> uh, it depends on the winds also. Because this one is nice, it's more flat than Moiven, but uh, if there is wind, it's, it's hell. It's really tough because there is no. No trees, no nothing. But today is, it seems like it's not windy. Sure. Yeah, today is beautiful, eh? Hey? Yeah. Julian, can you tell me a bit more about the last week's training and what it's what it's been like? What have your sessions been? Because, uh, we did uh, the remix, the remix almost the same. Training. Mm -hmm. Like 20k on Wednesday, Saturday on Friday, and no more about tempo on Sunday. Every week a little bit faster. So because the goal to increase slowly, slowly the pace. Now it's the last week, and from next week we'll change. Now we'll have uh, different, different days, different hotels. So maybe we'll start the uh, track by next week. Okay, nice. So you, you stick to a sort of a four-week loop. Sorry. You stick stick to like a four-week cycle? Uh, not really. In fact, it was more to get back in shape uh, because my coach Renato told me now we need to build up and get in the shape and uh, for that there was no problem to do the same every week but now the ship is, is coming so we can start training uh, more like he used to that means uh, no specific days for workouts maybe more rest more easy days but a bit faster in the sessions nice and uh is there anything in particular now that you're aiming for? Is it still just getting back into shape or is there a marathon coming up? Something that uh, you've got a goal for? Uh, I have uh, one race in, in my hometown Geneva in about a month, uh, which I won three times already. will be a good, good test for me. And after that, I need to see, I want to find a, maybe by next year, January 10K, a half, and then probably a marathon uh, in the spring. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And that would be your debut marathon, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Nice. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's exciting, dude. Do you have any favorite warm-up exercises? No. <laughs> I don't do a lot of warm-up. Normally just jogging 20 minutes and some stretches. That's it. Sweet. But if I'm really 
feeling sleepy, I will do more. <laughs> and afterwards, just stretch. Did you do any yoga, anything like that? No, I don't do yoga. Cool. I do meditation, I do, but no yoga. I'm the worst in stretching now. <laughs> I'm not flexible at all. I think sprinters need more flexibility than long distance runners. Because it's really hard to, to stay flexible when you do a lot of mileage. Yeah. I think you, you should see Kipchoge cannot even reach the knee bending, so... <laughs> You have my favorite warm-up routine so far. <laughs> yeah, I always copy uh, Sami. <laughs> ah, what a shame to <laughs> This is definitely the best warm-up routine. <laughs> This week we already are at 120. 120. So should be around 200 kilometers. This week. Yeah, last week was 200. The week before 180, 190. So pretty good mileage. Nice. Julian, what's your name? 120. Uh huh. 30, 30, 20. So we do one up till the the roof. Not so we come back, come back, go one and then you go. And then at the junction we come back one way. Yeah. So so one loop and you move up. So moderate is uh three forty. It in you know. One java oh the java sans on boot. Three two Now that the secret is out, can you break down the session for me? Uh uh so it's 1 1 20 times and then 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 times. Okay. Total of uh, 1 hour. Awesome. And <laughs> the paces that you're aiming for? Uh, we see. Uh, the fast should be around 250 per kilometer. Uh, but the recovery should be also uh, moderate pace, uh, 3, 3 foot. So we are not talking completely. In and uh, for 30 parts it's different with fast and then really slow recovery. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, go!
church. Yes, uh, there, are, there are five K, so nine times. And two, one, go. Let's go. So now they are starting 30-30. Okay. The yeah, time is 22. So they've just finished one minute, one minute? Yeah. Okay. 20 times. 20 so times. So now they are starting 30-30. Time is 20. Let's go. Cool. Let's, let's cut them. Second set is 30-30. Now we're on to 30-30. Does the time, the pace for the different intervals change? Or is it still 340, 250? Slightly faster.
Nice man, well done. Yeah, thank you. Smashed it. Yeah. Well done, Mike. Yeah. Stuff. <coughs> How was that, Bernard? That was good. Oh, like this is my got two weeks to the race. So. Two weeks to the race. What race is that? Rafaela Marathon. Which one? Rafaela Marathon in Italy. Nice, dude. Yeah. So the secret is out. The secret is out because everything is in place. I'm excited, really excited. Nice. After I come back from uh, long injuries and all stuff, I'm happy that I'm back. Yeah. Nice. And uh, today's session, what was, was the hard? Half, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta we gotta keep the pace with the boys. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. This was actually a special session. One one thirty thirty is really good for now. Thirty thirty was more difficult <laughs> because it was a short recovery. Yeah. So good feel it. Yeah. But yeah, everyone is strong here, and uh, we're happy now that everyone is back to the shape. This is the good uh, reason of having a teamwork. Nice. Yeah. And uh, are you excited to watch some of the guys race in the standard charter this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. Because we have some guys from our team. So it's going to be fun. Do you think they will do well? Ah, absolutely. They will impress us with their results. Top 10? I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm sure something good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How was that hard? <laughs> Especially at the end, 30, 30, 30 seconds rest is nothing. Not enough. Yeah. <laughs> is it a, quite a lot more difficult than the one, one minute, one minute? Yeah. Eh? It was one one. You have to feel comfortable because already the, the recovery is moderate, so you cannot uh, cannot push too much. At the 30, the goal is to push, and then you have only 30 seconds to recover. So. So it's more tough. So did you push the did you push the pace a bit harder for the 30-30? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I did not check the pace. I was just focusing on the feeling, but probably it was around 240, 230 pace. So quite quite fast. Nice. And now just a one one k. Dude, well done, that looked hard. You guys are going to leave. And you think they'll do quite well, hey? Yeah. yeah. They are not yet ready to be in front, but I think they can do a big PB. Nice. Yeah. Slowly by slowly. If they run I don't know, between 220 and 215 in altitude, it will be good for them. And there's one guy running the half. Mm -hmm. He's really in good shape, so for him it's possible, maybe a top 10. Sweet. In terms of uh, just in general, do you have an idea of who might take a win or take a podium spot this this coming weekend? I have no idea who is running actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, sometimes strong guys just decide to come. I think the price money is quite good, so might be some strong guys at the start. But I have no idea who. You know, traveling abroad is not always easy, so it's good for the people uh, who are not yet <coughs> who have not yet performed to have a chance and uh, maybe make it. And then you know, you find someone like a manager who can take you abroad after that. So it can be the start of a career. So now is it off to? Oasis for breakfast. Uh, or what's the plan? To, to Midland because it's it's weekend. It's not weekend, so Midland is a stand up here. Or what is the it? restaurant of uh, my wife? Okay. Yeah. Uh, last time we did not go because it was Sunday, so it was closed. Okay. And today we go there. Midland. Midland restaurant. And what's your favorite post-run food to grab at Midland? Uh, normally I take uh, this with chapati. Just chapati. Yeah, Chapati and peas. Do you use many like yeah. like protein supplements or recovery stuff as well? I, I take oh, yeah. after a session like this one. I normally take. Uh, but the other day not really. Uh, I better take like 
normal protein with my meal. But of course, after a session, it's, it's good to have. Yes. Very shake. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feeling good today. Yeah. Is Julian your gym, Coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do yeah. your, your deadlifts, your squats? Yeah, yeah. At, at times. I don't think he's enough weight though. Yeah, no, he's, he's okay. 50? You know, when you do repetition, come this side. When you do repetition, it gets heavier. Okay, I see. Yeah, so, even if it's 20 kgs and you do repetitions like 10 times, it gets heavier. Okay. Yeah. So, how many times can you bench press, Julian? <laughs> uh, I can bench press him like 10 times. <laughs> yeah? 10 times, ten easy. 10 times, yeah, easy. Okay, today is ran good. Mm -hmm. After that injury of this, see, even the running stride is almost back. So it was perfect. Nice. And you see, like the other time he, he dropped back, but today he say he was all with the team up to the last, and it was pretty fast today. Because average uh, at the one once they were doing 252, 250, but now they pushed for that. That they are doing 247. You see, that's fast, so, <laughs> and he kept up that today, which is good. In the next two, two, three weeks, ah, he's back to his old self. We, we, always, we always hope for the best. How's today's session, my friend? Pretty good. Yep. Was it fast, hard? Yeah, but controllable. Controllable. You seem a little less energetic after. Yeah, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, with a fast session like that, you have to feel great after. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a good sign that work has been done. Nice. Yep. Well done on crushing it. Great. Um, I'd like to know, are you training for anything at the moment? Yeah. There's something coming up? Yep. What's that? Uh, Istanbul Marathon. Istanbul? Yeah. How long until that? Hmm. 11 days from now. Soon, soon? Yeah. Sure. Yep. So How? It's like uh, my second last, let me say my third last session, so two more sessions to go and I'm done. But uh, it's more like tapering now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Excited to taper. Yep. <laughs> of course, always. Uh, with all the work put in, you know, you start feel uh, the load over the time. So tapering is the right moment to start uh, getting that energy back and freshen up your legs. Nice. Yeah. And excited for the marathon? Mm hmm Pretty much, yeah. Of course, you have to feel uh, a bit jittery, but I think it's... It's obvious with the uh, race coming, coming up, so, but at the same time it's exciting you want to see <coughs> how it's going to respond, how you're going to fare with, you know, the workout you've put on for months and months, you know. And uh, any sort of goal going into it? Uh, I always get into the race, uh, the target of winning, so no doubt about that, worst to worst, you know, podium finish, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I'm excited to watch it happen. 